Hanggang Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make spicy Korean braised chicken. We call it Takbokgum Tang. It's delicious. It's so hearty. It has a potatoes and carrots and onions and Korean spicy sauce. And we're braising it for an hour. Oh my god, it's so delicious. It's one of my favorite Korean food. And I'm going to show you how it how to make it today. First, you need the boiling water to blanch the chicken. I cut it up four pounds of chicken into one small pieces, and you've got to use the bone in skin on. So you have lots of flavor into the broth. Oh my god, it's so delicious. My mouth is already watering right now, just thinking about it. Oh, I'm so excited. So into the boiling water. All right, I'm going to bring back this to the boil. Then I'm going to drain it and rinse it in the cold water. Then we're gonna be ready to start braising our chicken with the spicy, delicious sauce. So while we are waiting, I'm going to cut some vegetables. You see how large this onion is? Almost like my face big. <laughs> I'm going to use the whole entire this one onion will give natural sweetness to this delicious takpokgumtang but remember you have to use sweet onion because it will give a really nice flavor all right what you need to do just cut it in half nice big chunks about like two inches this is a tanho bak in korean and a kabocha in here and in japanese um this is not traditional way to put it in but it's delicious i mean it's really delicious so i'm going to put it in any kind of a hard vegetable will do And also this one needs to be big chunks, about 2 inches, it's the same size as the onion. I'm going to drain my chicken, rinse it off, also rinse it off the pot too, because we're going to do the same pot. Put this chicken back to the pot, and let's go! In here, I'm going to add these pumpkins that we cut it up already, and the onions. Onion takes a little shorter time than other hard vegetables like the carrots or potato or the pumpkin. So I'm going to put only half of it to help out the sweetness, the sauce, but half of it I'm going to put later on to have a little texture. And carrot. Cut quarter. You don't need to make it small, just at the same size as the onion and the pumpkin. Just put it in. Two medium carrots. I'm going to make the sauce to put it in. We need 3 tablespoons of gochujang, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 heaping tablespoon gochugaru, black pepper, 1 tablespoon of sugar, sesame oil, and some sesame seeds, 2 tablespoons of rice wine. We forgot something though, right? We need the garlic. <laughs> We need six to seven cloves of garlic. Garlic smashing time! <laughs> and I'm just gonna coarsely chop. Put garlic right in here. Now turn the heat. And we're gonna put all the sauce in here. And if this is too spicy, you can adjust the Korean red flakes. If you wanna make it more spicier, put more and put extra chili there too. Let's give it a nice stir. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited! <laughs> Just make sure it's evenly coated. It started simmering already, so I'm going to put on the medium heat, cover, and let it keep simmering. And I'm going to keep stirring now and then, like probably every 10 minutes. And now we are ready to go eat! I've been simmering about 30 minutes. I'm going to add the onion. See, onion is already gone. There's no onion. That's my favorite part. It's almost like a stew, isn't it? It's like cold outside and you eat the stew with the rice. And, mm. Keep stirring here and there to not to burn the bottom. Especially the beginning 20 minutes, you need to stir very often. Four green onions. Slice diagonal angle. 
green onion ready to go too. All right, I've been braising for 40 minutes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's been 10 minutes after I added that uh, onions. Look at that. And actually the, the pumpkin and uh, potato and carrot is gonna little break down the outside, the outside part, make naturally thicken this stew. Mm, delish. Okay, now I'm going to add the green onions. And you just start to braise about 45 minutes to an hour. So until all the chicken and the potato all the way cooked through. Now we are ready to serve. sesame seeds all right I'm going to serve this with my delicious cooked rice oh my gosh. we got a little family star serving which is how we do in Korea so hearty spicy thick but delicious and bring me back to home I love the pokotan I mean it's one of my favorite dish so I hope you guys enjoy it and try for your families and friends before the weather gets too hot. So thank you for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sangyeong Longas, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah.